Happy New Year, my beloved brother and sisters. We are just hours away from ending 2020 and starting a new year. This year was a year of great challenges. We went through situations none of us could ever imagine we would have go through it. You know, it was one a typical and difficult and very challenging year. If we will look back to 2020 with everything we lived, everything we went through, maybe you could have reasons to be discouraged and even to be afraid to the new year ahead. But if you love Jesus and have faith in God, you will look at the past year with eyes of faith and you will see the many things God has done for us. Hallelujah. 
and you will find many reasons to thank God for the past year. I have my heart full of faith and expectations for 2021. I'm not expecting a magic new year, of course. Many people want a year with no adversity, no challenges, no enemies, no problem. I know they there will be challenges, obstacles, tests, tribulation and hardships. Life will bring challenges that will force you to grow in faith. Also, Jesus didn't promise us a life without no problem. But Jesus said in John 16.33, he said, Take heart, be brave, or be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world, and you also will overcome. The Bible also says that in Christ we are more than conquerors. In Christ and through Christ we can win all the situation by faith. And my last message, message of this year for you is New Year with faith, hope, and love. Yes, New Year with faith, hope, and love. I will talk about faith and my wife Fabiana will talk about hope and love in few minutes. The Apostle Paul gets right to the heart of the matter in 1 Corinthians 13. He finished off the chapter by saying that three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. Before we go any further into this preaching, Let's define these words. First, faith. What is faith? F faith or is confidence or trust in a person or thing belief that is not based on proof. And what is hope? Hope is to want something to happen to be true. And love, to have love or affection for another person or object. Faith is simple putting our trust or confidence in something or someone and having a belief that is not based on proof. A worldly faith is different from the faith that we are addressing here as followers of Jesus Christ. The best place for us to learn about our faith is through the Bible. For example, is, it was tremendous faith in God that led a young shepherd boy named David to conquer the Philistinian giant in the battle. And you, you can read that in 1 Samuel 17. Also, our faith is very important for us to be saved. It's by faith that we are saved through the grace of Jesus Christ. Ephesians, I want to read now Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and verse 9. That says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It's not based on anything you have done. None can brag about earning it. And when we have confidence and hope in God, we are told that such faith is what pleases God. Hallelujah. 
And also I want to read more two verses about faith. First, Hebrews 11, verse 1. Very well-known verse that says, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hallelujah. And also Hebrews 11, verse 6 says, Without faith, is, it is impossible to please God. Those who come to God must believe that He exists. And they must believe that He rewards those who look for Him. We all have faith in something, right? You have faith, I have faith. But the, que the question is, in what? Do we, do we place our faith in our spouse? Do we trust in our employer, employer to provide us? Do we, do we rely on ourselves and on our abilities? Do we rely in, in our money? We must place our faith in God who loves us, my brother and sisters, because there will be a day when any of all of those earthly options will fail us. Yes, the reason faith is so important for the follower of Jesus is that it helps us to truly learn about God and His loving heart towards us. Hallelujah. The more we learn about Him and experience His character, the more we will trust Him as our guide. Because there will be days when things happen which our minds can't grasp. And when the pain and situation is beyond our ability to endure it. It is those times that our understand of who God is, how much He loves us, helps us rest and place our faith in Him. How do we live it out? Simply start. Because faith, to live by faith is simple. We live out our faith any time. We choose to trust God despite our fears. When we use our gift, spiritual gift, to impact others also. And when we love others, well, by pointing the way to our loving Savior. Our time, we will see our faith increase. Yes, because the just shall live by faith, or we live by faith, not by sight. As I usually use to say, you can lose everything in your life. But my brother and sister, never lose your faith. The day you lose your faith, you have lost everything in your life. Because of that, have this strong faith in the Lord Jesus. Have a happy new year with faith, hope, and love. And now let's listen, Pastor Fabiana, now. Happy new year to all of you. Let's now talk about hope and love. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, that now these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. And the meaning of hope is to want something to happen. But the true biblical hope relies on God's character as a foundation for trusting that the future will be better than the present. Then remember, the future will be better than the present. This is our hope. If you want to grow in hope, you need to know God's character. 
one way to to know God's character uh, when you read the Bible when you stood it and for example if you if you stood this Psalm 130 you're gonna see that many car characters of God there you're gonna see for example that God forgives our sins he keep his promise he loves his people he is always ready to save them remain remember biblical hope is different from optimism optimism choose to see how the circumstance could work out for the best but however biblical hope is not based on circumstance in fact hopeful people in the bible often face difficult times with no evidence that things will get better but they choose hope anyway like the prophet micah live in the midst of injustice and e evil and evil but look to god for hope let's read micah 7 6 to 8 it says for a son dishonor his father a daughter rise up against her mother a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law a man enemies are the member of his own household but as for me i watch in hope for the lord i wait for god my savior my god will hear me do not gloat over me my enemy though i have fallen i will rise though i sit in darkness the lord will be my light we we see here that micah was a was going through a lot of problems but he put his hope in the lord he was not looking to the circumstance and this is what we we need to do this next year in 2020 we must be like this prophet things can become hard and confusing but our hope must be in our lord we know the end of the story in the book of revelation and we need to grow in our knowledge of god and his word watch and keep up with the news but stood the word of god even more because if you just look to the news what's going on in this world your hope is gonna diminish but if you keep your faith and grow in knowledge of the lord your hope is gonna grow let's look now about love as the bible says love is patient and kind that is not selfish, proud, dishonoring, dishonoring or rude. You can see this in 1 Corinthians 13. And love binds over everything in perfect unity. And now these three things remains. What we are learning? Faith, hope and love. But the greatest is love. I believe the true love comes from our faith and hope on Him. Because without faith we can trust in our god and we can hope that things will get better than the presence but the source of power to live well on this earth is love not just a selfish selfish love but a sacrificial love the same love that you receive from god through jesus christ his sacrificial love at the cross changed our lives and with this love we can change people you can be full of faith and hope, but if you don't love your neighbor, your religion is empty. Truly loving others will be uncomfortable at times, because it goes against our selfish human nature. But love seeks to build bridges, chose to honor others, and show respect for all people regardless of different point of view. We are called to be light to be sold, to love, for it is in this selfless act that the world will see a Savior who is worth following. Circumstance can make you doubt about your calling, but in your daily relationship with God and with this church, you will be sharpened and be able to grow and fulfill your calling. Remember, choosing to love instead of hurting will actually increase our love and will lead us to love others well. In this year, 2021, let's grow in our faith, hope and love and keep loving God, loving people and making disciples. 
And now let's pray with Pastor Marcio. God bless you. Now we are near to the end of this year. And now it's time of evaluation. We need to look back to see where we went wrong, where we failed in order to not commit the same mistakes. Also, now it's time of repentance. We are here to repent from our sins. And uh, also we need to abandon our sins in order to have a good year. Also, it's time of thanksgiving. We need to look back to see how many things God did for us. How he protected you from death, sickness, accident. We need to thank him for our family, our sons and daughters. We need to thank him for our church, our brothers and sisters, for the fellowship we have. And also it's time to renew our covenant with him for this next year. Please close your eyes. Let's pray together. I want to pray for you. Beloved Father, we are so thankful for everything you have done for us in 2020. And we want to give you thanks for everything, Father. And now we are here first to see we, where we went wrong, Father, where we failed, where, where we did wrong against you, Lord. Because we don't want to commit the same mistakes in the next year, Lord. Father, we are here repenting from our sins. Please forgive my sins. Forgive my brothers and sisters' sins, Father. Help us to live a holy life that pleases you, Lord. Also, Father, we are here together to thank you. Father, we want to look back and to thank you for how many things you did for us, Lord. How you protected us from death, sickness, infirmities. Thank you, Father. So many healings we did receive, Lord. Thank you for our family, our relatives, Lord. Thank you, Father, for our church, our brothers, all the cell meetings that we had in the past year, all the services, Lord. Thank you very much, Lord. And also we are here to renew our covenant, Lord, with you. We want to love you more and more. We want to have more time with the Word, with the Bible. We want to seek you. We want to be more faithful in the prayer meetings, Lord. Oh, in Jesus' name, this is our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and we ask you for your blessing over all your people in this new year in 2021. In Jesus' name we pray. And now we are going to have our 2020 retrospective, our highlights of the year. Amen. May the Lord bless and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you into you. May the Lord show you his favor in 2021 and give you his peace. Have a happy new year in Jesus' name.
in 2020, a deadly virus codenamed COVID-19 emerged, driving the world into chaos. People were scared. Fear surrounded the streets. The world stopped. But the church, the church never stops.